Hello fellas. Welcome back to Top 5 Choices, this is Haley from Top 5 Choices, and I hope you all are doing good, in today's video, I am going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best laptop for video editing, 2022. After doing proper researches, we came to the conclusion that meets the best in terms of overall. Kindly leave a like if you find this helpful, and I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications if you haven't. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use it for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. We'll be back with more videos. While Acer's gaming laptops often come with big and brash designs, especially its Helios range, the Concept D7 has a much more restrained look, in line with its positioning as a serious, professional device. So while the shape of the laptop is similar to Acer's gaming laptops, the color scheme is white with warm yellow RGB backlighting for the keys. It's certainly a design that, you'd be happy to take out in a studio, office, or meeting room, but rather than being stylishly minimalist, we think the design is a little dull. Perhaps it's the all-white design, which is a nice change to all-black laptops, but just doesn't grab the eye. We've also had bad experiences in the past of white, and light-colored gadgets looking rather grubby after a while. Thankfully, during our time with the Concept D7, the laptop stayed as white and vibrant as, when we first unpacked it, and Acer says, it has a stain-resistant coating, that protects it from yellowing and marking from dirt, ink, and coffee. While the MacBook Pro 16-inch only offers four Thunderbolt 3 ports and an audio port, the Acer Concept D7 has three USB 3.1 ports, a full-size HDMI 2.0 port, a mini DisplayPort 1.4, a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port, and an Ethernet port for wired networking. This instantly makes it a much more versatile device than the MacBook Pro. When looking for a professional laptop for working on, you want something that allows you to plug in your devices, without having to fiddle around with adapters. This is something the Acer Concept D7 provides in spades. The only noticeable absence is a memory card slot, which will disappoint photographers. Still, it's a much better port selection than the MacBook Pro. The latest XPS 15 makes better use of real estate than last year's model, with bigger keycaps, a much larger touchpad, and slim front firing speakers that are all laid out elegantly on the deck. But the biggest design change is the laptop's new four-sided Infinity Edge display, which ditches the thick bottom bezel from previous iterations for Dell's most seamless 15-inch laptop screen yet. The Dell XPS 15 2022 packs a total of three USB-C ports for charging and connecting to external displays and peripherals, two of which are Thunderbolt 3 for extra-fast connectivity. You also get a full-sized SD card reader as well as a headphone jack, as well as a USB-C to USB-A adapter out of the box. The Dell XPS 15 2022 borrows the best thing about the new, XPS 13, a truly four-sided Infinity Edge display, with no chunky bottom bezel to distract you from whatever you're working on, watching, or playing. But the effect is even more dramatic on the XPS 15's 15.6-inch display, which now has a 92.9% screen-to-body ratio for maximum immersion. All of that real estate, paired with the rich 3840 by 2400 resolution on our review unit, made me never want to put the XPS 15 down. When I watched Star Wars, the rise of Skywalker on Dell's laptop, colorful red and green laser blasts popped nicely against a blue ice cave, as TIE fighters chased the Millennium Falcon. The screen also did a great job, preserving fine details, such as the stubble of Poe Dameron's face and the orange and white patterns on BB-8's outer body. The Asus ZenBook Duo scores heavily on the design aspect. Given the fact that the laptop has a couple of displays in place it is fairly light, however, it is not that light as well that you can carry it for hours in your backpack or a sling on your shoulder. The overall build is sturdy with the external lid made of dark blue magnesium alloy giving it a stealthy look. Asus has not altered the looks of the device. The concentric circular pattern and the Asus logo is still present on the top though smudges, and fingerprints remain and aren't easily removable. Underneath this lid, there are two displays, the primary one is now a 14-inch Full HD panel, while the secondary display one is a 12.6 inches IPS panel. Both the displays are touch-enabled. The laptop comes with a new common hinge system, that controls both the primary display and the secondary display, and raises the secondary display by 7 degrees. The first generation ZenBook Duo had a stationary secondary display, this one, however inspired by the Zephyrus Duo rises slightly above the base, offering the user slightly better visibility without giving your neck some extra workout. 
ASUS cites both better ergonomics and better airflow as the primary reasons behind adopting this new moving screen mechanism, and to what we've experienced, it works effectively on both counts. In case you still need to raise the display a bit more, ASUS is bundling a kickstand that can be stuck on the base of the laptop, and it can push the laptop further up. A similar kickstand was present on the first-generation ZenBook Pro Duo, however, this one doesn't come pre-installed, and ASUS has left it on you to decide if you want to use it or not. The primary display on this laptop is a Pantone Validates 14-inch LED panel, with a full HD resolution, and sports an extremely narrow bezel on all four sides, offering a 93% screen-to-body ratio. The details on this panel are crisp and the color reproduction was accurate, thanks to the Pantone certification. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G15 is gorgeous. Not Dell XPS 13 or iMac levels of gorgeous, but in a marketplace full of gaming laptops that are trying to pass for sports cars and stealth bombers in a clamshell, the ROG Zephyrus G15 is a nice change of pace. No one is going to mistake it for either a business laptop or a coffee shop ultrabook, but the design stands out without being a complete rehash of an increasingly stale aesthetic. The lid features an almost grill-like inset that has a prismatic shimmer when opening the lid, which is a nice touch without being garish. There is also a silver strip around the base of the lid that adds some flair as well. Speaking of form factor, the ROG Zephyrus G15 is pretty thin as far as gaming laptops go. At just under 20 mm and 1.9 kg, it's pretty portable and won't be the worst thing in the world to carry with you in a backpack. And while it does have a big old power brick for a charger, you could get by with just a USB Type-C, so this is definitely a gaming laptop that you could actually take with you out of the house and still play the best PC games without too much of an issue. Asus upgraded the audio on this year's ROG Zephyrus G15 with a total of six Dolby Atmos-powered speakers for improved sound quality while gaming. The display offers P3 wide color gamut coverage and supports 1 billion colors for smoother gradients. Best of all, the display also comes with the expected 120Hz refresh rate, making it the fastest MacBook Pro 16-inch display yet. Because the bezels around the screen have been slimmed down for a more modern look, it's allowed Apple to increase the screen size to 16.2 inches from the 16 inches of the previous model. It also offers 7.7 .7 million pixels, thanks to its 3546 x 2234 resolution, which Apple says is the most ever in a MacBook. The 14-inch model, the new MacBook Pro 16-inch comes with three Thunderbolt 4 ports, one HDMI port, an SDXC card slot, and a MagSafe 3 port, along with a Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, Force Touch trackpad, and a 140W USB-C power adapter, you can still charge via USB-C if you'd prefer. There's also a 3.5mm headphone jack, too. With previous MacBook Pros, Apple limited ports to a couple of USB-C slots, and while that made the laptops look sleek and slim, it wasn't much use to professionals who need to plug in peripherals such as cameras, monitors and memory cards. Instead, they would have to invest in a USB adapter for these devices. Speaking of performance, the MacBook Pro 16-inch, 2021, is a joy to use. The macOS Monterey operating that comes pre-installed is fast and responsive, and the M1 Pro chip inside the MacBook Pro 16-inch does an excellent job, with all the creative tasks we threw at it. This involved editing numerous 8K video files in Final Cut Pro, playing around with complex musical projects in Logic Pro, and doing real-time 3D modeling and animation.